cat. Remember what I told you about that matchup? About your characters. I think it needs more Bob. So, Ice Climbers versus Meta Knight, I mean, I've seen the cat's Ice Climbers before, they're pretty solid, but, I mean, overall, uh, I'm not sure if this is the wisest decision, I mean, how many foxes could... Yeah, how many foxes are in Chile, and if there are... How many are as good as How many of them know that they're, that they're, like, their foxes probably don't even have a gun, throw that mad bootleg. <laughs> so... I mean, I'm hoping we get to see the fox at some point this set because I'm kind of sick of seeing Meta Knight versus Ice Climbers for starters. But I'm also I, I like watching the cat's talk. It's fun to watch. Yeah, you can't sleep on the cat's climbers. But yeah, he is solid with Ice Climbers, so uh, unfortunately, we're gonna see about eight minutes of this. Wow, look at this impressive platform coverage right now by Zero. Look at this. Very good spacing with that down there yeah. too. Look at him jump around. That was a nice platform. Oh wow, that right. low. Wow, the cat got really lucky right yeah. there. The climbers desync. He didn't throw that up air out, but I think I don't think he had enough time to even do that. Zero was right on him. So even thus far, both players pretty scared of one another, and you can't really blame them considering. Why do I hear Kingdom Hearts? Uh, probably Kingdom Hearts music on the stage. Oh, wow, oh, that very good. Controlling Xana to grab. get that forward air spike into the grab. Let's see if Nakat can convert the kill. Oh, he's got it. Get into that percent, and a nice job getting the first Lovely, stock. lovely fair spike into grab. That was cute as hell. Now, the thing about climbers when you're down is you don't want to sit around and let basically clock yourself out being too patient as zero starts to get a little aggressive hits Nana but you really need to be aggressive and safe at the same time which he really can be tough he needs to, to bait zero is what he needs to do I mean when you're down a stock against ice climbers you already feel a bit panicked so if he can bait zero into making some poor decisions getting hit by a couple up airs a couple back airs it really adds up Cat just sort of running up and power shielding. Yeah, he got that power shield, but I think Spot Dodge buffered. Zero doing this thing that those stairs. The cat putting up that ice wall though. Very good up air. So. So, like I said, Zero is just sort of taking a lot of residual damage at this point. A lot of up airs, and back airs, ice blocks, blizzards, things like that. And it's putting him even further behind. Uh, he kind of needs to make ha something happen relatively soon. As the cat oh. gets another grab and yeah. beautifully finishes him off right there. Yeah, very nice by the cat as Nana shows her pleasure with the situation. If Nana can land and gets in the cat, this could be it. This could be it if the cat can convert this grab. Oh, oh my! With the disrespect, but zero with a little smile on his face. Jesus, that was disrespectful. I was expecting just the, the up smash, but okay. So the cat's ice climbers, like I said, very solid. I'm still hoping for the fox, though. I don't know. What, for what he did that match, that was really good. I mean, he definitely had some nice confirms. Nice grab confirms. Yeah, and the thing about it is, I mean, even top-level ice climbers in pressure situations, they will drop chain grabs, even the easy chain grab, like Meta Knight's chain grab. Like, I can do that chain grab, so easy. But, like, the cat, as I've noticed him play through tournaments with Ice Climber, he doesn't really drop too often. 
It's a rhythm. Yeah. Oh, he's going Fox. It must be staged. Must yeah, be. Halbert. Oh my yeah. goodness. I'm not completely sure why you would pick Halbert against somebody who has a Fox, but okay. Yeah, it might be just be a comfort thing. The cat doing his thing. The cat is very comfortable on this stage with Fox, so this should be an interesting match. I mean, up smash will definitely kill Meta Knight around like oh, 80. Man. This stage, forget about it. But right now, the cat's uh, in some dire straits with 59% to zeros too. Zero doing a good yeah, job he, covering that air dodge. It's really hard for Nagat to get in right here, and I mean he can't really shoot lasers because of the angle of the stage. So. Yeah, definitely, that's a good point. Very nice run up grab. Good dash attack by Zero covering that, making it not obvious at all. Another dash attack covering the landing this time. There we go, getting a big, good chunk of damage right there with the up smash. It's still early on in the stock, so the hits will refresh it. I mean, the cat really just wants to get to the second part of this stage, I yeah. feel. Yeah, that's uh, another good point. Right where the ship lands, uh, the ceiling on this stage is quite low. And, and gets it came back to bite him in the ass. Yep. So nice job by Zero keeping the cat out, but on this part of the stage, it's a lot easier for the cat to shoot those lasers. Yeah, a uh, flat surface right now, and the cat's able to let it fly. He needs to put in a lot of work here. Good grab by Zero. Covering nice. so many options. Wow, oh, under five after hit. Leap of faith. A, a very, very good tool for Fox is that fastball air dodge. He gets uh, he gets to act out of it so fast. And I mean, he, he does have like the frame free up tilt or so. So nice options out of it as well. And ooh, wow, nice shine. All right, shining that shining that show loop. I just want a mod for for Brawl where every time Fox up smashes, it just says leap of faith. <laughs> So, like I said, this is definitely where Nakat would prefer to keep the stage. I mean, eventually it's going to transform back to the other part, and he's going to have a lot harder time shooting those lasers, getting a lot of that residual damage on. Reading the side B there, excellent there to punish. And up air takes him out, wow. That was crazy. The ship should be transforming soon. So let's see if the cat can get another early kill before this transformation happens. Good Nair. Zero has been calling that air dodge to the ground with Nair every single time. Oh my goodness. That's a dead fox for yeah, sure. Good Nair on the Phantasm. Very oh nice my god, what the hell, that was a beautiful up smash from the cat and he's just going to have to sit back and chew lasers as much as he can because that's the only way I foresee him getting even close to back into this game. Uh, Zero however seems to be more than content just under the stage so. So tight. Oh, that gutsy walk up grab. Oh, another up smash thrown, barely missing. Down smash goes for the guarantee, but Zero dies. And that's yeah. going to be the game. Now, this is not the worst I mean, chain of events. I mean, the cat does have his counter pick here. He yep. still has Ice Climbers to fall back on. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, I'm predicting him to go back to Ice Climbers. But that seemed pretty frustrating, so... And if not, then maybe he'll just pick a really flat stage and go Fox. Yep. I'm guessing Zero is banned hefty. I'm oh, assuming. they're going back Smashville. <coughs> Excuse me. So, 
20 seconds into the game, it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. And the cat is the first to take damage. Ooh, zero falling right toward that edge. Scary moment there. I definitely foresee this one taking a very long time. Both these players have patience for days. And it is the last game of the series. Now look for Nakat to do that platform cancel to try and get that grab eventually. I foresee it in the future, at least in an attempt. However, as it stands, he's doing the right thing, that's for sure. Sort of camping it out, making Zero play his own game. Trying to get Zero above him to punish him with up airs and such. Nakat has to be... Ooh. Good, good attempt at a grab. The cat has to be careful though when Ooh, he's tries to. He tried to do the platform cancel there, but he got a down air out instead. Desyncing is a great offensive tool, but if you get hit while you're desynced, it puts your climbers in a really, really bad position. Definitely. And Nana by herself when she's not under your control as with the worst cat GDI you've ever seen. <laughs> Ooh, so, we're almost two minutes into the game, and a total of 30% has been dealt. <laughs> like I said, no surprises there. Both these players want to play extremely, 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 extremely carefully. So. Zero playing it safe, getting that tornado in. Will he swerve back? Oh, wow, broke his ankle. <laughs> <laughs> There's a grab. Let's see what Zero can do out of this. Will he get both? Wow, wow he got he the got one that mattered, ball. though. So, I mean, excellent patience by Zero and excellent execution. As soon as he saw an opportunity, he went for it. Now, this actually is very unfortunate because on this, on this stage, uh, whoever gets the first stock really has a big advantage because they get to control the tempo and they get to control the clock out situation. I most certainly agree with you, Mr. Dumbledore. And I mean, while there is a scrooging rule in effect, he can sort of just camp that platform. Yeah, he's basically just air camping. And if he needs to, he'll probably be able to fly under the stage at some point in the near future as well. We've got another 4 minutes and 40 seconds of this. I hope you guys have your seatbelts on. And oh, and an SD! The most fortunate SD I've seen in a really long time. Wow. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Happy Hanukkah. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Kwanzaa came early for the cat this year. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Wow, that last hit of tornado connecting. The cat with a 6% uh, deficit. deficit against him. I mean, this is definitely going to time. I mean, come on, here. It's definitely going to time for sure. But, I mean, it's all a matter of Zero trying not to get hit for more than six damage. <laughs> Just a tense situation overall. Both these players don't want to get hit whatsoever, and the trip. Oh, wow. Oh, my God, that trip. That trip just put Nikat so far behind. It's yep. That's r extremely unfortunate, disappointing even. At this point, all the cat can hope for is either a really tight up air string or a grab. <laughs> okay. Oh, Ooh, that was a nice start. A nice start. 
Hey, gets the up air in. Any little bit counts. Can the cat trip more in this match? Tie your shoes, bro. Either way, the cat is definitely gonna have to make something happen very soon. Otherwise, this is gonna be really bad. Wow. And there we go. Just yes. a little ad time. Zero escaping by the skin of his teeth right there. Height battle. Shout out to D1. Oh. Getting some ice blocks. He's only down 10% now. Two minutes left on the clock. Wow. Super Smash Brothers Brawl. You're. Ooh. Well, less than 10% oh. now. No! Oh my god! Oh man. <laughs> A technical <laughs> error. Whoa. He tried he tried the platform cancel. This is why you do not platform cancel with down there. Oh Just my stuff like that. god. That was really bad. The cat. Oh man. Big time SD. One minute left on the clock, and the cat needs a miracle or a grab and another grab. Yeah. Even if he gets a chain grab right now, he still needs to do 20%. <laughs> and it's, it's, yeah, that's a big, that's a big time problem right now. There's the grab. All right, let me get. The cat has 30, oh my 35 god. seconds to do 20%. Oh my god, he trips. The cat needs to go in. The cat needs to go in. So hard for this damage right now. 20 seconds left. If I were him, I'd be throwing blizzard walls like crazy. 15 seconds left. Oh my god. Player cam. Oh! And the clock out. Yes! Oh! Wow, that was so gay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yay, brawl. <laughs> oh, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> The first time Zero almost actually lost. Leap of faith! <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was... That was...